I'd love it, Stan. I can't. No, we got a bit of a do on. Perfect. Your last turn, please. After more than 17 years on a rooftop in Leeds, Sir David Jason films one of his last scenes as one of the nation's favourite detectives, Jack Frost. So do we bring Berlin in? No. No, no, not yet. I don't want him to know about Lizowski. Not until we know more. It was great fun. It was very enjoyable because we had a great team I respected and liked the professionalism of everybody. One of the things that was very important, and you don't get this very often, and you don't get it now, which is family. Everybody could talk to each other. There was no chain of command. So that was what made, for me, working with Yorkshire so special. And there's no names, no patrol, as the old army people used to say, but you don't get that very often. A bit of a do. A bit of this was Sir David's first venture with YTV in the 80s, where he began to cement relationships that would last for decades. A bit of a do was a comedy drama across the class system. I knew that you didn't find me unattractive, I sensed that you didn't find me repulsive. Well, I sense that you don't find me repulsive either. Oh, no, I don't. Of course I don't. I mean, you aren't. Have a tuna fish volibon, they are delicious. I read the script, and I quite liked the character, and I said, yeah, no, I'd enjoy it, because I, I enjoy working, and that's the main thing, and I thought it was a good script. It's very nice to... Uh, to be thought of by another company. So, yeah, that was my first uh, introduction to uh, Yorkshire, and it was great. Uh, they asked me to read Darling Buds of May. Ooh, something about strawberry picking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's perfect. <laughs> Everything's perfect, you're way of thinking. <laughs> I read it and I said to my agent at the time, I said, well, this will either be a big success or it'll be a big failure. And she said, why? And I said, because nothing happens in it. Par Larkin was that next big hit for Sir David, but he took everyone by surprise with his next request. They sat me down at the end of the table and they said, is there anything that you would like to do? And no one had ever asked me that question in television, ever. The thing that the audience like the most, is, I said, are detective the genre. I mean, John Thor was doing his uh, big detective thing, and I used to like the Sweeney, and it was silence from the other end. But they thought, oh, he's gone off his head here. A word of advice, son. Well, two words. One, never tell Mr Mullet that I'm in the office. And two, never wear a suit that you wouldn't be happy letting a drunk be sick over. Do you consider yourself an adopted Yorkshireman? I do now, all right. I certainly do, pal. All right. No problem about that, pal, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I love my time there, and I say that the reason, because I love the work and I love the people that, that we got. We just had a great team, great family. <laughs> The drama team has been making headlines for five decades. Without involving me? I give that as an undertaking. Yeah. While Gazette may not have really taken off, Hadley did. <laughs> making a heartthrob of the central character in both programmes, Gerald Harper. There was also a chance for writers and actors to learn their trade, like a young Peter Firth. Hi, a moving shadow. He went on to star as Harry Pierce in the spy drama Spooks. But YTV had its own Secret Service series back in the 70s. The Sandbaggers, starring Roy Marsden, was sold around the world. Then what would you do? As the UK government? Yes. Well, I'd build a fifth Polaris, a Poseidon submarine. I'd increase the hunter-killer submarine force. I'd build a tactical... And where would you get the, the money? But it was homegrown talent and locations that dominated the 90s and the noughties. Heartbeat, why do you miss when my baby kisses me? 
heartbeat led to the Royal and another string to YTV's bow. While they all came and went, one drama remains. And the National Television Award goes to... Hello, Joe. I remember first watching it, and it would be uh, the, the show would start, and Annie Sugden would say, "Well, I've, I've lost my slipper," and then it'd go on for 15, 20 minutes, and at the end of it, she'd go, "Well, I found my slipper." I had to come all the way down from the top of the house, and when I opened the kitchen door, all I could see was a horse. It's massively changed, yeah. I mean, the scale of things. There was 21 of us, I think, in the cast, and now there's 60 of us, and yeah, twice a week, and now we're six times a week. So it's huge changes, really. Yeah. Can you tell me where I could find the owner? Who's asking? Is anybody around here capable of answering a simple question? I suppose that was my big break, really, in 1989. I'm trying to get to home farm. I uh, don't suppose you've got a horse box I could borrow? It was quite intimidating first walking in and seeing all these big characters you'd watched on television, but I guess everybody will say the same, you know, when they first joined something like that. Claire as Kim Tate became one of the serial drama's most famous characters, with quite a reputation. I don't respect you anymore. Kim, please! You're a dinosaur, Frank. And you know what happened to them? Dallas Dynasty had all been out, and I thought, we haven't really got, you know, a nasty sure character, a female character in, in, over in the UK. Oh, I'm sure he will. I did get attacked a few times, once by an old lady in Marks and Sparks with a, an umbrella over my head. Uh, telling me that I was so horrible to Frank. <laughs> Claire's time in Emmerdale coincided with the big changes, losing the name Farm and, of course, that plane crash. They had to t modernise it and give it a bit of a G up. Um, a lot of people were anti it at first, but it, it has worked. Now we've got modern writers, we're taking on like the American model of drama, there's cliffhangers, there's uh, storyline strands, A, B, C, D and E storyline strands, it's all very, very modern. And who knows, they may yet be able to tempt someone back up north to renew his YTV pass. Thank Yorkshire Television for, well, for 50 years of great programming and a great company. Um, I just wish I was still working with them. Emmerdale, we could get you into the wool pack. Oh, yes, you, you never it, know. You never know. No.